A beautiful Friday morning in the city of Lagos, where we are broadcasting from. This is Voice of the People Television, and this is the program, VOP This Morning. I had to say that, so Fina would have to do, uh, do that. Oh, well. Welcome to the program. I am Moses Humphrey, and uh, mentioned her name already. All right, I'm Fina. Okay, Chuku. Thank you very much for doing that, Jai. You're welcome to the breakfast show on Voice of the People Television. I was hoping you wouldn't do that. <laughs> I, I don't want to, and I'm not going to do it. Okay, fine. I'm okay. Going to do that. And I'm talking about having a scintillating show this morning, this Friday's edition mm -hmm. of the show. Oh, yes. Yeah, we have an interesting lineup for you. Uh, like NJC recommends that Justice Kikiri Ekun as uh, the new CJN. And also we have 20 others. Uh, as 28 judges. others, 28 yes. 28 others. The judges yeah. of various courts. Various courts. And, uh, you know, lineups. We have wonderful one, and we also have fascinating guests that also help to x-ray all those and beautiful more other topics that you will be coming your way this morning. And I am Chukuma Okoro. It's good to have you guys join us this morning. Please do stay with us as we take you down to what the package we have for you this morning. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And uh, an interesting package you realize that we have put together for you. We have the paper review. We have the topics. So, Fina already uh, let um, one out of the bag. But we have a whole lot more that we'll be talking about. We also have uh, uh, the entertainment segment. Uh, of course, uh, something interesting right there for you as well. Numbers scrolling on your screen are numbers with which you can communicate with us. Let us know your thoughts and your views on uh, uh, the subject matter. And also, you can be part of the conversation by subscribing to our channel on YouTube. It's Voice of the People TV and on other social media platforms. Go ahead, follow us. We are at VOP TV, at VOP TV Live. Yes, that's it. At VOP TV Live. <laughs> Excuse me. <coughs> On other social media platform. We'll take a break. When we come back, we'll go into the papers, looking at stories that made it to the cover pages of some dailies, and then we'll get into the conversation proper. Welcome on board. Welcome back to VOP this morning. It's time for us to look at the front pages of the National Delis. And we have before us this morning the Punch newspaper. We also have the Delhi Independent, the Guardian, and the Nigerian Tribune. I would like to start from the Punch newspaper this morning, where we'll have uh, the banner headline to be, Ogun FTZ deal. Chinese firm targets Nigeria assets in eight countries. And uh, we'll have the right after that headline, to be Zongshan eyes exit in UK, US, others. Presidency vows to protect jets. And just right be beside the nameplate, which is uh, the point, you have another headline there that reads, court orders for feature of MFLA's $2.4 million Lagos Delta assets. Harvest season reduces food inflation to 39.5%. And that is uh, from uh, Abubakar Kiari. Right, FGI's pension funds in $500 million bond issuance. You can get that story on page 21 of the Punch newspaper. MPOX, that's a monkeypox, FG tightens border surveillance as cases hit 39. And uh, from there, we move down to, okay, we have a pictorial. And uh, in this pictorial, we can see... Uh, people in uh, Meduguri, in airplane, and uh, from, uh, we can also see that of uh, Kainji. Yeah. And right beneath that pictorial, we have other headlines to read. Uh, Educationist files 11 billionaire suit against Sowolu over school demolition. Educationist files 11 billionaire suit against Sowolu over school demolition. That is on page four and five of uh, the Punch newspaper. CJN, NJC sends Kekere Ekun's name to Tunubu. And that is on page 27 of the Punch newspaper. And the last but not the least of the headlines on the Punch this morning reads, Secretariat Raid, Secretariat Raid, 
NRC demands detained members released. And that is on page 11 of the Punch newspaper. It's, it's more like uh, the people that were, uh, you know, people that, that they took away from NLC headquarters uh, uh, and now they know where they are. You know, before now we're having uh, this, uh, this uh, not clear information on who did the raiding of the uh, NLC office or headquarters in Abuja. DSS said they weren't the one, but we saw, you know, uh, individuals have guns and marks, you know, go and uh, raiding that uh, headquarters. But now that uh, NLC have decided to talk about the release of their members that are being detained, Let's know how that will actually still unfold. And that is all we have on the Punch newspaper this morning. All right, and moving away from the Punch newspaper, I have the Nigerian Tribune in front of me. Uh, let's take headlines from Nigerian Tribune now. On top of the, uh, the main plate of the paper, despite rising price of items, NBS says inflation rate drops to 33.40%. NJC recommends Kekere Ekun as CJN, 28 others as judges. Anger as French court orders seizure of three presidential jets. Over dispute between Ogun State, Chinese firm, FG has no contractual obligation with Chinese firm. Presidency, that's according to the presidency. Process attaching aircraft to contract, fraudulent. Ogun government seized presidential jets as sovereign assets, immune from attachment. AGF says legal diplomatic steps on course to ensure discharge of inappropriate order. Secret purchase of presidential jets despite outcry insensitive. OB and uh, Nigeria battles multiple diseases as MPOX cases rise to 39. All right, Nigeria battles multiple diseases as MPOX cases rise to 39. Kanu, government, uh, Kanu governor has reduced governance to a joke, and that's coming from Ganduje. <laughs> All right, then. Uh, dismisses claim of missing documents on corruption trial. All right. Nigeria sets new record as over 30,000 mothers breastfeeding simultaneously. Nigeria sets new record as over 30,000 mothers breastfeed simultaneously. Interesting, uh, I must say, interesting one. That's a good record to, to set. It's breastfeeding week, by the way. So, uh, no surprise, this conversation is making it to the cover pages of the dailies. Uh, mothers mothers-to-be, and uh, uh, everyone should know, fa including fathers, should understand the essence of breastfeeding for the child. All right, Nigerians are hungry due to failure of government. Afeba Barala backs the Patriots' call for new constitution. Senate denies receiving 21 million naira as salary. Allowances says running cost not peculiar to NAS. All right. <laughs> Interesting times there. Interesting times. Well, um, I think that will be all the headlines from the Nigerian Tribune. So now let's move over to the Guardian newspaper. And there's a lot on the front page of, of, of the Guardian with the banner headline that reads, Nigeria awaits Los Angeles Olympics after Paris 9 billion naira poor outing. Mm. And the kicker there says, rinse and repeat. Like, when you fall down, you don't stay down. Try and get up. Yeah, you have you know. to get Dust yourself. And we have a head. series of uh, pictures there, like the pictorial, you know, ex expressing our, with our athletes, you know, sportsmen expressing their disappointments at, at their performance, you know. So, and I hope that with this, the preparation for the next Olympics is, is already off and we hope to come out better than we did. One of the most disappointing yeah. for me um, Toby is Toby Amosha. Toby. It's unfortunate how it panned out for her. I expected a whole lot more. And I'm sure a lot of Nigerians expected a whole lot more exactly. uh, from her. But, uh, oh well. And then one starts to wonder. We, we did see some, some Nigerians uh, competing for other countries other country. winning medals. medals. Yeah. You know, and that's begs the question of uh, uh, 
competing for Nigeria yeah, yeah. in Nigeria. Uh, what does it what what does it portend for the individual? Oh, like is there a problem to, with Nigeria as a country? I don't, I don't, is it an administrative I, thing? You know, uh, when when you look at how the uh, Olympic actually turned out, the Paris Olympic twenty twenty. For or you begin to ask, what is the, the national, the sports uh, council in Nigeria, is, what is it really doing? The Minister of Sports, I'm talking about NO1. What is really happening whereby some of the people that went to represent Nigeria don't even have the needed equipment? You know, they have to um, borrow some or even go as far as using other people. Well, you know, in, in, in that regard, they're talking and about the cycling, the, uh, the lady. Yes, the I lady. I can't, um, can't remember her name of the cuff right now. Uh, and also, Ophili was of the in, opinion in that, that in that in that regard, yeah. I would I would say, from what we have gathered, from what I gathered, she was not built to compete in that competition. All right, Nigeria was only um, asked to compete because some countries dropped out, were disqualified, and so so, so most of the, pre the, the preparation wasn't. No, they were already there to get a bike in Paris. The, so why go the in bike if is you a know special bike. Special bike. It's a special bicycle. Do you pre-order either one? Yes. You know, it, but but now it, 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 for it that has, for that compete for for the competition, yes. Oh, that's it has real. to be pre-ordered. Okay. Since now, they I know think, I think what should have happened now. was since you know that we were not prepared, you probably should have declined. Declined. That is it. But now why was but, she even in Paris? Well, she had other things to compete to. To compete for. Uh, anyway, Other Moses, it's, yes, it's, it's a different story. <laughs> we'll delve into that in our um, uh, new super review. Oh, yes. Yeah, exactly. so, oh, yes. And the Guardian says, falling food prices, moderate inflation spike amid sustainability concerns. And Bauchi Emirate withdraws senator's chieftaincy over alleged disrespect for governor. Alleged disrespect. I, I'm sure this guy is in, is in the same bed with... Uh, Abbas, disrespect for politicians yeah. and tragedy in Abbas. <laughs> okay. Oh, well. And Pox, that's monkey pox. NCDC places airports, seaports, states on high alert. I hope we don't get to another lockdown, you know, I after, know, the, know, after know. the COVID lockdown. But you know, it's yeah. already, they've declared, WHO have already declared that in, 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 in yeah, yes. case of emergency. Okay, so. okay. So the big story is NJ, she recommends KKRA a coup as CJN, Chief Justice of Nigeria, 28 other judges. You can find that on page 7 of The Guardian. And court orders for future of 2 million naira. Dollars. Shares. Dollars, that is. Sorry, 2 million dollars. I'm used to naira. Pardon me. <laughs> 2 million dollars. Shares. Properties linked to MFLA. This MFLA story doesn't seem to. You know. yes. And another big story. Senate defense running costs for lawmakers. That's on page eight. Mm. Sorry, page three of the Guardian. Address hardship to avert another protest. Udenta tells Tinubu. Mm -hmm. And Mr. Pito B says, international embarrassment as federal government. Okay, international embarrassment says will be as federal government moves to recover seized jets. And the bottom strip says. This course defend tariff hike, claim ban A customers pay lowest rates in West Africa. That's very interesting. Very interesting conversation, but uh, of course, we'll come to it when we dive into the newspaper review, uh, where we do have uh, some of the uh, papers to touch on. Uh, we have the uh, Daily Independent. Uh, Fina, you want to take Daily Independent? All right. On the front page of the Daily Independent uh, this morning, the banner headline there. Uh, Reads, FG clarifies seizure of Nigeria's three presidential jets in France. The writers are, assures on step to discharge inappropriate orders against jets. Chinese firm plotting to strip Nigeria's offshore assets presidency. Firm misled French court on presidential aircraft. That is coming from Ogun government. OB says that seizure is International embarrassment asks FG to come clean. And we have the window headlines to under Daily Independent this morning to be NJC recommends Kudirat Kikere Ekun as Chief Justice of Nigeria. Tunubu asks African leaders to address exodus of talents from continent. And uh, we have, uh, you know, um, a pictorial where we have the, the governor of Lagos State, Babajiri Sawolu, 
you know, given a handshake to uh, some, what a, a, a Lagosian that is a, that happened to be on the Lagos uh, internal revenue portal generation or creation. And beside that pictorial, we have other headlines to be Secretariat Invasion, NLC debunks police explanations about terrorists, accuses FG of meddling in union activities. And you can get that on page 7 of the Daily Independent. Despite court order, APC NWC, that's APC National Working Committee, still recognizes Rivers Okocha led CTC. You can get that on page 6 of the Daily Independent. Court orders for feature of $2.04 million properties, shares linked to MFLA. Delay in crude supply to Dangote refinery poses risk to Nigeria's economy. And that is according to a report by EIU. You can get that story on page 6 of the Daily Independent. And we have another bold headline on the front page of the Daily Independent this morning. And uh, it reads, despite high food prices, Nigeria's inflation is 33.40% in July. The last but not the least, that's the bottom strip headline, reads, NEMA advises immediate relocation as flood hits 27 states. NEMA advises immediate relocation as flood hits 27 states. And where, these are the headlines we have on the Daily Independent. Where do they relocate? You, we, we need to get across to us now. And these 27 states now, you know. You know, the, the, the interesting thing is how uh, NEMA and governors in flood-prone areas will tell you, look, relocate to higher grounds. You know, it's the rainy season, relocate to higher grounds. You know, they keep saying that without considering uh, the cost of renting apartments. All right, some of these people live in these areas because that's what they can afford. Some of these low-level areas are... I like, you know, it's what they can afford. So you just say, get another apartment, move apartment, move houses, move in with a family and friends. You can't just wake up and, and, and move. Yeah, it takes a lot. Yeah. It takes a lot of planning. And that's why some people will stay put. Stay put where they are. And uh, unfortunately, the, the flood meets them there. I think a whole lot more should be done. Uh, well, I'm not going to put this on the table of government alone. The people played it their own part. Uh, most of the problems we have with um, flooding, flash floods, is as a result of bad drainages. drainages. And bad drainages can be laid on the table of those that live within, within the areas. People clog their drainages with refuse. In this present day and age, in the, in, in, in the year 2024, you still see people bring out uh, refuse bins and okay. empty it into drainage, uh, into uh, the channels when the rains are falling, expecting that the, 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 the flow of water will move their problems, will move the, their scenes and their dirt away to somebody else's Demont. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm happy that you, you, you mentioned this now. I, but I, I think that is what the National Orientation Agency should be doing. Mm. Desensitizing people, people, educating yeah. people, you know, rather than defending the policies of government. Is a government desensitizing people? I feel, shouldn't people know that these things are not healthy? Now we'll bring you back again it, to the table of the government. Of wickedness? Let's bring you back to the table of the government where there's no proper urban planning for people actually to build their houses. And not just that also, those amenities that people need are not really being provided for. Yes. Because if you break. actually I, I, bring I, it down, I always bring believe, believe that it's a, it's a two-way the... thing. Like Moses said, it's a mm -hmm. two-way thing. There are things government needs to do. Okay. And the people are supposed, people have their own part. Exactly. Play, exactly. You know? So that is where there should be a synergy, you know. And I still put it back to the NOA. You know, that is their... It is their function, you know, to sensitize the people about values. I was somewhere, and values. then I asked someone, why is it that in this, you know, this particular part of this house, you guys have so many refugees dumped there? And this person said, where am I supposed to drop it? Am I supposed to eat it back? 
now on the thing is, I, oh, I was like, why is in it that we house. don't? Is it that we don't have the people that are supposed to help clean? The uh, the 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 the, ta the cup or the tank that they have outside where they pour in this refuse is already yeah, filled up, the refuse, and yeah. there's no way they can actually empty the refuse bin. And, and the PSPs are not, are, not, not, are not coming to exactly. You no, know, you understand. And when I asked, they were like, they pay all the sanitation bills. They do pay them, but the thing is, you don't get to see them. Sometimes they come there once in two or three months if they know that there will be an inspection in those areas. And these are the people that we have, and they are collecting their salaries, and no one actually is checkmating how they run their bees or their deals. So bring it back again to the table of government. Let them provide the, the necessary amenities for people, even for them to empty their refuse bees, or people that will be picking it or collecting it up every day, and also introduce I think they are ready. Majors. They are built to do that. They are built to, to collect the refuse on a daily basis, basis, or at least weekly. You know, they go around streets weekly, uh, mm. I, maybe it's a yeah, it's, it's, it's good, but I, I don't think that weekly is, is, is that good. You think if they can't do it daily. daily, no, if they can't do it daily, maybe today, tomorrow, you come back, okay? You know, because the, the ref, every other day, refuse is something that you generate every I, other I pay, day. You know, I pay in my house, for example, I pay people to come and help me pick mine out of the house. Yeah, you have to pay. You pay people, yes, you mean uh, I pay, I pay the barrow carts, uh, yes, pushers. that's illegal, you know. No. That's but, illegal. So what, what am I supposed to do when I know within myself that there's no way, I'm, am I going to leave with the debris in the house? Move it to a dump site and put it there, which it can then go ahead and cause, um, it, it, it could be harmful to the, in, you know, to those that live around there. It's, but the government that's, is that's supposed to manage the government needs to manage everything for it to, to be better the way it should be. Yes. All right. It's mm. difficult holding brief. For, for the anybody, government. For anybody. <laughs> but, but then again, we still have cholera. Cholera is ravaging. And we see people defecating on highways, street corners. You know, um, that should be stopped. If you're watching this, know that if you do your thing in, you know, in a place that you're not supposed to do it, you're endangering somebody's life because that can flow into... And then you see people put up uh, stalls on top of drainages, drainage. yeah. and they sell food there, and you know they wash, they wash. I don't want to paint a picture that will, you know, spoil your your sense of your 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 mind this morning. But a lot should be done. Uh, we should deal with our health in a better manner because cholera is ravaging and killing people. A lot of people are dying as a result of cholera, and also, M, M pox is uh, around. And we know how, how contagious this can be. Body to body, uh, exchange of body, uh, body fluids, all of this is uh, measures through which mpox can be transmitted from one person to another. So stay safe. Even as government is trying to police our borders and airports, individuals should ensure that they stay safe as well. All right? Well, I guess that's how far we can go with uh, the paper, uh, the newspaper headlines. Uh, more paper review. The actual review will be at 9 o'clock. We'll take a break now. When we come back, we'll be looking at uh, the recommendation by the NJC, the recommendation of Justice Kekereekun, uh, Motomari, Justice Motomari Kekereekun, as CJN. And, all, not, and 28 others, of course. We'll talk about this one, the implications for Nigeria, when we come back.